Close your eyes. And notice where you feel the breath. And try to stay with that sensation of the breath coming in, the breath going out. And allow it to be comfortable. Don't force it too much. And if you find that the breath is already uncomfortable, think about changing it a little bit. Make it longer or shorter, heavier, lighter. Whatever feels really good right now. Because when the breath is comfortable, it gives you a good solid foundation right here in the present moment. When the mind is in the present moment, then it can see itself. Why does it want to see itself? It's because your actions shape your life. And where do your actions come from? They come out of the mind. And if the mind doesn't know itself, then it's a big mystery. It's, everything's coming out of this big black box. But if you sit here with your mind for a while, you begin to see, okay, when I say this, I have this intention. When I say that, I have that intention. Do this, do that with these different intentions. You begin to gain a sense of which tensions you, intentions you can see are skillful and which ones are not. If they're unskillful, then you can you want to get rid of them. In other words, you, you don't have to chase them out. It's just that you don't have to act on them. You have to learn how to recognize these things. You just drop them if it's unskillful. If it's skillful, you can carry it through. Although sometimes you find that something you thought was skillful is going to be unskillful in the long term. At least you're right here to know the difference. You see the connection between your actions and the results. And if something doesn't work out, well, you can go back to the drawing board, come back to the mind, and get more alert and more intent right here. And at the same time, when the mind settles down here in the present moment, it has a sense of well-being. When you come from a sense of well-being, it's a position of strength. Because there are some times when you know what's skillful and what's unskillful, but you just don't have the strength to resist what's unskillful or to follow through with what is skillful. But if the mind is well-rested, it has that strength. So we bring the mind to the present moment both to gain strength, to gain a sense of well-being, and to see things clearly. So we can act on what we know is best, both because we can see what's best and because we have the strength to do it. This applies not only while you're sitting here with your eyes closed, but as you go through the day. You want to be very clear about what your intentions are, because we're churning out intentions all the time. The mind is like this big factory, churning out all kinds of stuff, and it doesn't have much quality control. So by staying right here, you get to have some quality control over your actions. And as you have control over your actions, then you begin to get more and more control over your life. Life becomes a lot nicer place to stay when the mind is well trained. And it's acting on good thoughts, good words, good deeds, rather than the opposite. So make sure your quality control is good. And the person working at quality control is happy with the job. And they're happy to be very careful. And they have the confidence that if something comes out of the factory and they say, no, okay, you're not going to, you're not going to try to sell it to anybody. And we do all that by firmly, firmly establishing the mind here at the breath and working with the breath so it becomes a really comfortable place to stay. <laughs>